Oh hey there guys, I'm just drawing my boat on my floating water channel and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own. So here at the end of the floating water channel we have the machine that created it. So this is the automatic floating water channel maker. Right, let's try it out. I just need to remove the obsidian here and then update this button piston fire charge and voila. <laughs> We expand the water channel. So this is not some kind of magic, it's just using some game mechanics. So at the front we push a waterlogged stair block forward to create a new water source. And then we need to prepare the water so it doesn't spread to the side. The trick to get a floating water source was first shown by Myron Irio quite a while ago. We've also been using it before, but kind of forgotten about it. Now it actually became important again for the new AFK fish farm, so we want to have some floating water. So this kind of led to <laughs> the whole development there. Right, so the, the trick to get floating water is to have a yeah, sticky piston that is grabbing slime block structure and tries to pull it back, but can't because slime block structure is obstructed here by non-moval block or you have a sufficient push limit. So we can't pull back and that's why no updates are sent to the water above and you can get a floating water this way. So technically you could, also, you could do this for all five sides as well and have a completely floating water just placed on some glass blocks for now. But yeah, technically it's possible to do this on all five sides as well. What you can't do afterwards unfortunately is updating the water somehow. So if we would move a block, then it would start flowing again. Sky rising in process, we were messing around on the Cycroft snapshot server yesterday and first made this yeah, one wide water wall where they update suppressed um, both sides of the water source. So you don't have the water spreading out to the side. And yeah, this was created by a flying machine, this one here. But I thought it would be even cooler if it would be possible to have a completely floating water channel. Um, but it turned out to be a bit harder than I expected. Basically, we have an issue with the geometry here. So what we need is to have three extended piston arms right next to the water that all attach to slime. But that's not really possible. Only those two could uh, yeah, grab onto slime. Well, this one, of course, has the other extended piston in front of it. So you can update the press basically those two sides, but then yeah, you also need to do the side one. Similar issue here, you could also do both of the sides first. But yeah, then you also need to do the bottom at some point. And you can't push in a piston again, it would update that water in any way, because then it would start flowing to the side as well again. The trick how to do it is basically do it in a two-step process. So the first thing you want to do is retract the piston below. Then you want to move the whole piston and some slime blocks forward so the other piston can attach to something. So I'm going to push this stuff out. And now this sticky piston also has um, yeah, a block in front and we could update suppress those sides as well. So we need to do a two-step process and at the same time also always make sure that none of the slime block structures can be pulled. I made the game run 10 times slower using carpet mod so we can see the machine in action. Right, let's launch it. So the first thing we do is to yeah, push away the redstone block so this sticky piston can retract. Okay, the first water got update suppressed. Then we push forward, update suppress the side water, move the whole structure forward, those pistons extend again, and then yeah, one cycle is already over. So even if I do it actually 10 times slower, it's still rather quick. <laughs> so let's actually try to Watch it again. Also, yeah, this piston extends again, so the water doesn't spill down. It was really important to me that we don't have any water spillage with this machine. So soon the cycle will start again. So the first thing is happen, we push the redstone block away. So the piston will retract here. Then we also need to move the piston out of the way. And as soon as the honey block here is under those sticky pistons, they can retract. The way we make sure that yeah, the the piston you can't pull up the honey block is. Um, I added some extra honey blocks here at the back uh, so I would need to pull up the honey blocks and the slime blocks on top and that's too much. Similar thing happens here on the side so this is the other slime block structure. It's actually under the extended piston arm 
So I just have to wait until it's getting pushed again. So this piston extends just at the moment when this one retracts. So that's why, yeah, this one can't pull it up. Okay, let's run it at normal speed again. I think I also optimized the machine quite a bit in terms of speed. You can maybe make it a bit faster, but I actually put in some effort with this one here. Oh yeah, process did also, yeah, <laughs> started with the whole uh, thing yesterday. It's also checking it out now. All right, now I'm gonna show you how you can build this in a block by block tutorial. One more thing, you need to be aware that water can freeze. So if you would fly this over an extreme hills biome or cold biome, uh, you could get ice and that ice could create a mess because it would update the neighboring water blocks. You wouldn't get a chain reaction, so it would only update the water right next to it, um, but it's still not nice. So yeah, be aware of that issue. Um, with the water freezing can of course prevent it by just having a row of blocks above. Okay, let's start over here. I already placed down two glass blocks. Next, we need to add two honey blocks in the back, then another one here, and then we want to go down and over. And yeah, it should look like this. Okay, then next we need to grab a piston that pushes the whole structure forward. So we need two temporary blocks. Then we can place a piston here on top. Then at the back of the piston, we need a slime block and a redstone block here on the side. Okay, next we need another temporary block to place the observer against the points into the slime block. And then we need a sticky piston here at the back. Okay, then we can add another sticky piston here. And we want to grab some honey blocks. So we need to place on one, two, three, four, five, six honey blocks like this. All right, then let's continue here. Add two more slime blocks on top and one on the side. Then here we need a redstone block and now an obsidian block. So if you place the piston now, this doesn't get pushed forward. Okay, next we also need another normal piston here on top. Then two slime blocks over here. Here we need a redstone block to power the piston and one observer that powers this sticky piston here. In front of the sticky piston we have four slime blocks rolled up and one down here. Here we have a redstone block and I'm going to add the first downwards facing piston. So right here it's powered by quasi connectivity. Okay, next we need a glass block and another downwards facing sticky piston. The glass block is only there to update uh, the piston. So basically we pull this whole structure back and this piston will be updated by the glass block. Okay, but to also grab the piston here, we need another sticky piston and at the back of it, an observer pointing into it. So we need two temporary blocks to place it down. Then we can add more slime blocks. So four blocks like this. Then here we need to go down again. One block over and one to the front. All right, then let's continue at this end. We need another temporary block. So we have an observer that points into the slime block here. Oops. And then we need another sticky piston here. Okay, next stair block here. Gets pushed forward will be the water lock later, but yeah, let's do it at the end, so as we create a mess. We need a slide block here in front and two on the side and here another glass block. So this keeps, keeps the water in. Pretty much the same on the other side. So one, two, another two here and then a glass block again. All right, then let's continue on this side. We need a sticky piston and now a honey block. Observe at the top and another sticky piston, then two slime blocks, observe at the top, and here a normal piston. We need another block to actually exceed the push limit, so I'm just gonna place down a glass block here. All right, looking good. Now we can actually, yeah, worry about getting the water in. Um, we also need to prevent the water from flowing down here, so we're gonna place another sticky piston there that will be powered. I'm just gonna add a temporary honey block to the structure here and an obsidian so we can't pull it. Okay, now let's get a bucket of water. Need four, I think, yep. 
One, two, three. Yeah, I need four water buckets. Of course, they actually make a source once you have to. So never mind, you can. <laughs> you only need to bring two. But if you need to place down another one here and on top of the piston. So it should look like this. Okay, let me continue here with the. Well, here, after suppressing the water, we can remove the piston again, the honey block, and the obsidian. Alright, then everything is in place. I'm gonna get a fire charge. I got one here. We can remove the obsidian and launch the whole machine. And there we go. We have our fully automatic floating water channel maker. In order to stop the machine, you need to place an unmovable block here in front of the whole structure. I hope you liked the video. You can also find the light medic in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.